uh, today we are going to look at our third C which is the comprehension. You are noticing that most of our concerns for innovation are revolving around understanding the problem, comprehending the problem, finding out the uh, things to do. Sometimes we just jump at our uh, idea very early without even understanding all these things. That's why we are spending so much time on the first four C's. We have already done the vein tracer, deep dive into the problem issue, talk to multiple stakeholders, come up with the innovation. Uh, uh, it's still not innovation because it's still not reached the final mass production. Then we came up with the CRPF bottle as the second. The context was very critical here. It was for CRPF Jawans who go for deep. Uh, operations, 20 days without water, it is for a specific context. So design is very, very contextual, innovation is very contextual and we have to understand that. And now look at the third one, which is the comprehension, which is nothing but arriving at design insights. So we've done this deep dive into the user problem, we understood everything about all these aspects. Then what are we taking home? How are we synthesizing all this? Uh, into a comprehension. For example, if you're working on various aspects, you look at the working principles, you look at the technology involved, you look at the design insights, what type of insights you got when you do the user studies. You also make a plan of the socio-economic structures there, who is buying what, what happens. I'll tell you this very nice example of how one of the governments very, very early uh, put up uh, solar street lights by using batteries. Within no time, those street lights were you know, gone and nobody replaced them. So the issue of how we can look at the social economic structure across the governments, the people, the society is very, very important. You have to understand what are the new technologies for a current problem. For example, you said that people or elderly have a problem with mobile phones. So which context, which aspect of this mobile phone was critical? Was it an Android phone? Was it a normal phone? If it's an Android phone, you can look at how you can make new apps, how you can make new programs. If it's an older phone, you'll come up with a new maybe lens to keep it ahead of the phone and see the uh, display. So the whole solutions differ from the type of problem in hand. So that becomes very, very important for you to study the technologies available for the problem in hand. And similarly, we're looking at the study of new materials for the same problem. What are the older new materials which are being used? So here I have my uh, student, Avinash Prabhune, came back to work with me on this solar oven. Avinash, you can just come here. We had a problem in hand. We said that, why don't people use solar ovens, which are so good, which are free for people to use, and the government gives a lot of concessions. So Avinash was this you know, young MD student at that time, and then uh, he said, I will go and check at homes. So he went to the houses and found out from various resources, various you know contexts, what is the issue which is you know very critical and why they don't you know use these solar ovens? Some of the key things are that the people who are using the solar ovens find it very inconvenient to use. You know they love the cooking, they love the type of product which comes out of the cooking, but it's very very inconvenient. What is this inconvenience? That's also very critical. And then he checked out what is happening, and then see look at people here in rural areas. But why am I studying rural context? In comprehension, you need to understand all the aspects. And in this context, Avinash went to flats in Bombay who had bought solar ovens. You know the solar oven we are talking about? The box type solar oven which opens up, uh, it, it has a mirror uh, and it has a closed black surface body which heats up and then uh, cooking happening. So those are the biggest challenges which people face and it never came into picture. The Ministry of Non-Renewable Energy and Resources always wondering why people are not buying it. 